Time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France with Florence Villemino. Hey, Good Donna. to see you. Uh, this week, we're going to focus on a very important tradition that rolls out once a year. It's an ancient tradition that survived the Middle Ages, the French Revolution, and even two world wars. And it involves a cake. A king cake, to be exact. It's like galette des rois, and it's our expression du jour. Now, French people usually eat king cake with their friends and family to mark epiphany, so on January 6th. Uh, so that is the day when the wise men arrived in Bethlehem, the Magi. Uh, but king cakes are so popular in France that you can buy them in bakeries from late December until the end of January. You can completely overdose on them during the month of January, and you can also make them, as you can see in this special cooking class we did with Jeannie Godula. This is a king cake, une galette des rois. It's one of our favorite traditions here in France, and it dates back to the Middle Ages. It's actually very easy to make a king cake, and during the various lockdowns, a lot of people found a lot of solace in cooking, so we thought we would teach you how to make your very own king cake at home. To make a king cake, you need two puff pastries, 140 grams of powdered almond, 100 grams of sugar, two eggs, 75 grams of butter, and one egg yolk. And then you mix all those ingredients, except for the egg yolk, in a bowl. And then you spread the filling out onto the puff pastry and leave a little space like a pizza. Now it's time for the thing that really makes the king cake unique. Inside it, before you bake it, you hide a little porcelain charm or trinket. It's called a fève in French, which is the word for bean, because originally it was a bean. These days, cake makers go nuts on the designs, and you can actually collect these fèves, in which case you're called a fabophile. Now, whoever gets the fève in their piece of cake gets a year of good luck and prosperity. But do watch your teeth and don't choke on it. Then you carefully put the puff pastry on top. <laughs> hey, and works. you seal the edges. Perfect. And at this point comes another fun part where you can get creative with the design on top. Then what you do is you take a little bit of egg yolk, you brush it on top to make it shiny. Then you pop it in the oven for 20 minutes. When you're ready to serve the cake, it's called tirer les rois. And to make it fair, the person who is the youngest goes under the table to say who should get which slice. Now, if you get the fev, you get to be king or queen for the day, and you get to wear a crown, which you can make at home as well, and you get to choose a king or queen that you will share it with. Now, we're going to tirer les rois, Jeannie, and it's kind of like playing the lottery. We'll see what happens. But it's going to be you, because it's always you, <laughs> <laughs> okay, there, Jeannie was queen for the day. She now, is always queen. <laughs> always queen. Now, now, French people tend to accompany galettes with, you know, a glass of cider or champagne. Uh, the classic galette is made with a frangipan, but these days a lot of different flavors available. That's right. You can get galettes that are filled with apple or caramel, chestnut. I had a delicious one with pistachio. I like and cherry. apple. It's nice. <laughs> apple one is pretty good. And there are also some regional specialties as well. What you're looking at right now is a gâteau des rois. So this is the galette that you will find in the southern Provence region. So it's an orange blossom flavored brioche that's actually shaped like a crown with all sorts of candied fruit and uh, sugar on top. This is similar to the king cakes that you'll find in Spain and other Spanish-speaking countries. Just when you think you need to lose weight after the <laughs> Christmas holidays, there's more to, to eat here in France. Now, galettes may look and taste different depending on the region they come from. They all have that lucky prize or lucky charm inside them known as the fève. Uh, where does that tradition come from? Well, apparently the galette tradition comes from the Roman Empire and the Saturnalia. So this was a festive period from the end of December uh, through uh, the beginning of January to honor Saturn, the Roman god for agriculture. And one of the major traditions during this festival was role reversal between master and slave. And, and they would essentially designate someone who would be king for the day with a cake with a bean inside it. Why the bean? Well, beans are actually one of the very first things to grow, uh, and they're a symbol of fertility and prosperity. Now, at the end of the 19th century, uh, beans were replaced with porcelain trinkets, and today uh, there are also plastic trinkets. But there are a few artisanal fev makers that remain in France, and they're very proud of their trade.
La fève, à un moment donné, c'est l'étincelle qui va déclencher une petite émotion passagère. Et, et donc, quand on pense qu'on crée une fève, on est là toujours en train de penser qu'elle va être la, la Madeleine de Proust de celui qui, qui va la découvrir. Now, this year, things are going to be particularly different because of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Absolutely. Usually, 30 million king cakes are sold during the month of January. But uh, it's unlikely that that's going to be the case this year because large gatherings are forbidden. And so this big moneymaker for bakers, well, it's probably not going to be one. Though people say that during this, you know, this very tough period that we're in, the galette is actually a source of comfort for them. En temps de Covid, elle n'est pas boudée la galette, tout simplement parce que ça réconforte euh, les gens. Oh, C'est ma petite douceur qui va me faire plaisir, euh, même un grand plaisir. On est limité à 6, hein donc vous ne pouvez pas en prendre deux, une de 8, ça serait, ça, serait, <rire> ça aurait été un peu suspect. Hein. So the big trend this year are actually smaller and individual uh, galettes, uh, and that's what bakers are making. And I saw someone on Twitter asking the question, does it still count as good luck if you get the charm of a galette that you're eating on your own? Exactly. And I would say, absolutely, this it year we need all, purpose, the <laughs> all the luck we can get. Thank you very much for that, Flo. Flo Vilmino there. And that's all we have time for for this edition. In the meantime, you can tweet your questions to at Flo Vilmino and check out our website. The address is france24.com.